This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> Monthly pizza bills. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Horror Month! <laughs> Bonjour. It is horror month in the end of October. The day That's some spooky mouth harp there. Before Halloween. How are you doing, all of our viewers out there? How you doing Don't out there, Cleveland and We can't hear you. Toledo. Wait! <laughs> do yes. we have a do we have any Cleveland fans? Cleveland fans, give us a shout out. You know we love Cleveland. We love going there whenever we can. If you're from Cleveland and you can hear us and see us, then yeah, give us a shout out. We love if, Cleveland. Okay, I guess if you're from Cleveland and you can see us, that's still creepy, but it's not impossible. Um, we love going to Cleveland. Oh, no, we with love no direct flights from anywhere. Whoa, is that <laughs> true? I would assume, I don't know. I would assume Cleveland is... <laughs> Cleveland's a major uh, hub of business. <laughs> a major business hub. Yeah. Drop Welcome. Per perhaps for steamships in the 1850s. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like the only way Dr. Brain can hold things together around here. This is Dr. Brain's office. We found it. Mm -hmm. We found his ass chair. This cute little lamp looks like a penguin. It shows the same degree of artistic taste as evidenced by the lawn flamingos. <laughs> Which is consistent. I kind of want to sit in that giant hand. Oh, not anymore! Yeah, now it would be a slightly less comfortable chair to sit in. This board is labeled job skills and looks like a giant job application. Does it, a though? A job application. Am I supposed I'd... to put all of my... All my shit onto this thing. If I had that board in my office, in each of those uh, squares, I would put NA for not applicable. <laughs> I would never have this in my office. Because <laughs> it's dumb. What is this shit? I'm not sure. Oh, I see. Do I? Pattern I'm, recognition. <laughs> I mean... Okay. One lines up with one, right? Oh! Yeah, I see. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, this will be mathematics. Uh, programming. This is like a word skill thing. Uh, pattern recognition, maybe this? Total. No, oh, no. What? Yeah, no, not seeing the pattern in stars. You're right. Oh, cosmic consciousness, perhaps? Okay. I see. And you gotta put these all back in now. If you fuck it up. If you fuck it up. Um, language? I guess maybe that? Yeah, all right. Nice, nice. Pattern recognition for puzzle piece? Yeah, all right. Uh, this was a, literally a game of memory, so. Uh, I think we did really well, you know? I think we did just a fine old job. Well, you did. We were just here for it. You hear a voice from the next room. Very good. You seem to have mastered the skills you will need. Please meet me in the control room behind the bookshelf. As soon as you can. Don't bother. Oh boy. Are we ready for this? Are we ready to complete the castle of Dr. Brain and with it? Um, Horror Month 2021? This is going to be a real short weekend. My nipples are hard. <laughs> <laughs> and they burn. They burn. And I right. think... Oh! Speaking of burning, how's everyone in Cleveland? 
a full is full cool Gibson for it if me yeah yeah I'm not gonna read this whole thing because I feel Go like on. we lost subscribers last time I did that <laughs> interesting ba -ba 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 -ba. put the book back on the shelf okay oh I bet this changes the letters is that right? Oh, Kufu so Kufu Gibson for C Tivmug. Yes, it changed a little bit. Can you put more than one? What the fuck? Yeah, you can. Okay. That's a live chicken. It sure is. Not for but long. for how oh. long? Um. Yeah, no, that didn't change shit. All right. Well, I was hoping that it might, like... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, look. We have some uh, questions for Gory to get into. Are there seven? No, there's only five. All right, what am I supposed to do here? Question uh, for Gory, Gory, Gory! If there was a line of Halloween costumes for Sierra games, which would be the strangest sexy variant? Oh boy. And uh, 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 great question, JC Saran. Great question. <laughs> sexy Sludge Vohol from Space Quest 2. I can see it. Sexy mm -hmm. Antwerp. <laughs> from uh yep. from Heroes Quest, yeah. It would basically be a sexy grimace at that yeah. point. Yeah, I'm into it. Whatever happened to Grimace? <laughs> he's, I mean, he's still around. What happened to all of them? <laughs> he's still kicking around. I see him from time yeah. to time. When was the last time you saw Ron doing anything? <laughs> Ron? <laughs> are you are you on a uh, on a casual first name basis <laughs> with Mister McDonald? <laughs> What the fuck is going on, Ron? Where's the makeup, bud? <laughs> where's the goddamn... Where's your posse, Ron? Where is, where is everyone? Where's uh, Grimace, yeah. that fat fuck? Yeah, where did he go? So the, the thing that, that blows my mind... is All of the creatures from sort of the... Uh, McDonald's cinematic universe... Um... <laughs> represent some yeah yeah uh represent one of their foods and apparently grimace is a milkshake or at yes. least represents milkshakes now there was a good reason for this uh <laughs> unfortunately i forgot what it was well I my my question then is like so i mean obviously that song milkshake was written about him right because he's got the milkshake that brings the boys to the yard like that thing is bell shaped so grimace was supposed to be a taste bud was he a taste oh so they're delicious and so you can yeah he, he was a taste bud and he had uh four arms initially and he was known as the evil Grimace because Grimace is definitely a, a villain's name. And his whole sh shtick was is that he fucking stole milkshakes. He was basically like the Hamburglar. Was he, a, was he the Hamburglar but for milkshakes? But for milkshakes, yeah. He yeah. did not stay a villain for long at all. No, no, no. Fucking uh, Ron befriended him real fast. <laughs> Ron turned him around. Ron, <laughs> Ron. Around. From it, from Ron. his early life of petty crime. <laughs> yeah, Ron was like, yeah, fucking, I love this guy. Look at this fucker. Well, now this, this is a wingman. I don't have a best friend, and it's true. Ron didn't. He was not close with Mayor McCheese. Uh, Birdie was an acquaintance at best. Birdie, that's later. the one. And so Birdie is is like a pilot that is associated with McNuggets, correct? Yeah, because she's made out of fucking McNuggets. Um, <laughs> that, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, they actually had little uh, McNugget friends. Mm -hmm. um, 
so yeah um but yeah like ron didn't have any real real friends right he had the the fry kids barely spoke they were like little fucking maniacs that just ran around they're like little puff men with their shaggy heads and legs and roller guys, skates yeah. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, the fry, they, they were the, the most obvious of them all, I think, except Mayor McCheese, <laughs> whose head is a giant fucking quarter pounder. Yeah, yeah. Here's the uh, here's the here's the, the the kicker. Did you know there was a a sea captain to represent the fillet of the fish? The fillet of fish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It Don't know his sense. name though. Uh. And, uh, yeah, there was also a scientist, but I don't know fucking anything about that guy. He anyway, was lost yeah. to the sands of time and, you know, a boating accident of some sort. Fucking uh, Mac Tonight made it as an actual uh, McDonald's Land character, too. Mac Tonight? Yeah, Moonhead. <laughs> Moonhead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fucking... Yeah, uh, that's like Mac the Knife, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Song. He, he made it. He made it in there. He was just like, yeah, I know Ron. <laughs> I know Ron. He's my yeah. boy. Ron's my boy. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, yeah, sexy, uh, uh, sexy Antwerp. My, my... <laughs> <laughs> to get back on topic. Well, I can't, I can't, you know, maybe the sexy kobold would be pretty great. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, paint you blue, get you in a toga. That's actually not that bad. Um, yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, 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 Maybe, okay. There's numerous things from Space Quest. Like, Sludge is a good answer. Sludge um, Hall, yeah. 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 But, Sexy uh, Root Monster. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can actually picture that. I could design that. You could design that costume. I could design that costume. Uh, so what do we do with these books? I mean... It says that the clue that we got from the robot maze thing... What do we do with these books, said the library on the first day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like... If we just wanted to get this over with, I have so many hint coins. <laughs> no, 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 no. It would be an anticlimactic end to the game. We just always using all of the hint coins to solve the puzzle through brute force, but it would be on brand for us as a as a show. But go ahead, Matt. What were you well, saying? Well, I mean, we you we got all this way. Uh huh. Uh. Without using a single without one. Without using a single one. I, I feel we like used this a maybe our, to find our Perseus of all things, but Yeah, yeah, that's true. But but hey, uh Okay. Uh, but but we can use walkthroughs. We can use walkthroughs. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, so it says like um, if you're stuck hey going we'll suggest how we can uh Use the clue sheet from the robot. No, I can I can tell you exactly how to do this because I just read Why the did, walkthrough. Oh, go ahead then. Let's All right. Have it. All right. Do you uh, close close this down? Close this down. Okay. Let's shut the game down. Got do it. You, do right. you see that drawer? <laughs> no, 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 no. This wait, drawer. Yes. Wait. I was not aware Doctor Brain was wearing whipped cream on his head. And oh, I hate it. Well, I mean, that's that's the uh, I mean, that is the uh, <laughs> that's the draw. That's why you, we got to work for him. What's going on with him? Is this the guy we're working for? Oh, we're going to work for him eventually. Okay, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this, this is, is our interview. This is fairly obvious upon okay, seeing so this. Is this Solomon's map. key used for the? Oh, or is this the actual? Key? We used we used the red key and the red lock in the drawer. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Boom. Cheap looking ring. All right. And is this a decoder ring? Of You're like goddamn right? right. And there. You're that's all you need. You're goddamn right. And You're goddamn right. Or the Henway. What's the Henway? Oh, that's the head. Okay. Get the green book from the third shelf. Put the blue book. Okay. Is that actually going to... Can we... All right. Yeah, all green right. book from the third shelf. All right. Green book from the third shelf. 
and then put the blue book on the third shelf. Okay. All right. All right, we got that. Get the red book from the fourth shelf and put the red book on the top shelf. So we just go here and do uh, that. All right. Uh, get yellow book from the bottom shelf. Okay, put the green book on the bottom shelf. Okay. Uh, pluck the chicken. Or was oh. that a henway? You hear a voice uh -huh. from the next room. Congratulations, you have solved every problem that I set forth for you. You shall be my new lab assistant. Ah! But instead, it turns out that we had been hired to assassinate Dr. Brain all along. <laughs> It wouldn't That's right. be horror month. We are an acolyte it. of Jeff Rovin. <laughs> <laughs> we have to silence her and everything. Yeah. Uh, acolyte of Jeff Rovin. Actual title. Yeah. I hereby award you the certificate of achievement for your accomplishments. Yay. Is this okay? Gonna say, are they not even gonna show us Dr. Brain in the. So, congratulations! You have solved every test I've set for you. You've achieved the excellent score of 160 points on my little puzzles. Oh, look at those little puzzles. You will make a fine lab assistant. Why, if I turn you into a crab? But enough of that! There's work to be done. Let's get with it. First, I'd like you to meet a few of my friends. Director, designer, lead programmer, and my alter ego, Corey Cole. Corey Cole, my esteemed producer, who helped us <laughs> to bring the camera. Stuart Mulder. And my art production designer. We let him out soon. Andy Hoyos! Is the art boyo, designer? Boyo. <laughs> Douglas Herring, as in the fish. My composers, I just say I can't hear you. Mark Siebert and Ken Allen, what a team. I, I appreciate Mark doing the, uh, <laughs> the arm wave thing there. Chris Brayman, Rob Atisalp. Digitized sounds constructed by Orpheus Hanley. Fake name. And here are some of my artist friends. They have helped me create and decorate this place. Vaskin or... No Kudin? Nice. Dana Dean, Dina, Dana Dean. Krutak, Dana Arturo Krutak. Sinclair, Jerry Jesserun, Bob Gleason. Or this Orpheus guy. Henley, by the way, is um, <laughs> the guy who composed the best song in Police Quest 3, and I think <laughs> also <laughs> was the face of the driver in that. Uh, Oh, I'm really? Just... Nice. Yeah, yeah. Dennis Lewis, John Schroetz. Unless I'm mistaken. Like, the song is called Orpheus Hanley. I think it's also the, the name on the uh, driver's license when you uh, pull him over. So. Ah, Jack Magnier, Steve Conrad, John Wentworth, someone I missed. You know, these are also programmers. My quality assurance lead, making sure the castle is clean as it can be. Sharon Simmons. Q and finally, a special credit for design assistance, Lorian Cole. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> now, this is time for me to design a new set of challenges for you, which means I must be off to the. island of myself. <laughs> island island of after myself. <laughs> the island of me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so did he just like hire me and then rocket ship off to an island like to challenge me for more puzzles? That'll show us. Am I am I at least getting my first day's paycheck? Or I need to know what we're playing next. Well, I mean, it's on the screen. Surely one of these machines must be able to cut me a check. <laughs> <laughs> I did all this and I did not receive a check. That's fine. I understand there is a certain interview process at work here, but uh, 
You abandoning your castle just as I prove myself shows that you are an inconsistent leader and I am hesitant to go to the island of you. <laughs> I will I'm be reporting I this might to have my to... shop steward. And, uh, <laughs> afraid, afraid that I might have to uh, uh, accept the offer from my friend Ron instead. I think I have to go work for Ron. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, wow. Well, this game was pretty cool, you know? I had my, uh... I was a little afraid, you know? We spent a lot of time with the, uh... The, uh... The, the doctor in, uh... King's Quest, uh, 4. Or King's, I mean, Heroes Quest. I mean, Quest for Glory 4. <laughs> <laughs> it was infinitely less maddening than the Manhunter series. Oh, I, I actually... Yeah, this game, was a, this game was a goddamn pleasure. It was. It was. It was a breeze compared to Manhunter. A cool breeze. Well, you know, this is what you get. This is what you understand and and receive with your life. And uh, yeah, we're done another horror month. <laughs> that's a that's like a great valedictorian speech. <laughs> <laughs> It, it turns out, though, that the horror was in us all along. Yeah, it sure was. <laughs> Remember, just when you think you're going to get horror from us, you don't. Now, I there was another comment uh, made by, um, by uh, I believe it was Joseph Davies talking Jay about... Jay Davies! Jay Dog. Uh, Jay Dog. Ta talking about... Uh, uh, the planet thing that Alex had to say last week, but Alex isn't here to defend himself right now. So, <laughs> uh, we might just have to hold off on that one until we get back to uh, quest for glory. So if you're watching all episodes of horror month sequentially, uh, next episode you will see will be the Island of Dr. Brain, which will be recorded in 2022. If we survive that long, um, meteors. However, yeah. Meteors, uh, mega tsunamis. Mostly um, meteors, though. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, um, more variants of the COVID virus. Um, hey, look, we say this every every horror month, and we just keep coming back <laughs> like rats. We do. <laughs> like rats <laughs> in a trap. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, like... If you want to hear uh, what the sort of conclusion to to um, J J Dog to J J Davies's um, question, for, it wasn't even a question for Gory, but a statement about the planets. You're going to have to find yourself about midway through Quest for Glory Four. Wait, what was um, the what, what was what is the next episode? Let's take a look. We're going to find out for yeah. you. Because yeah. that's what we do here at Level Zero. If you want to watch these chronologically, because you are from the future. If you want to watch these in the order that we recorded them. Actually, there is a playlist um, that is just every single episode of Level Zero NPCs, which you could access to watch everything chronologically. Yeah, it but says if, so right there. Yeah. You will want... Uh, Quest for Glory Shadows of Darkness episode 27 to find out that uh, that situation. So tune in next week uh, if you are watching these at the yeah. time that they air uh, for Quest for Glory Shadows of Darkness uh, episode 27. And if you are not watching these in order of airing and you are instead watching for Horror Month um, if there are more episodes yay! <laughs> And we'll see Yay. you at Island of Dr. Brain. All right, everybody. See you next year for the Island of Dr. Braille. Brain. Brian. Dr. Bri Brain. Dr. D. By yes. the way, if... Is there any less spooky instrument than the harmonica? Less spooky? Uh, the, the mouth harp perhaps is that the one that goes boing 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 yeah exactly that's the one wow the, the greatest instruments uh, are invented in australia 
<laughs> it's true the the didgeridoo, the didgeridoo? The didgeridoo? i have a didgeridoo. didgeridoo you do i do it's you it's do just, just down the hall from where i'm sitting right now i, I do have... have a didgeridoo what about the rain stick uh my brother has a rain stick i have a didgeridoo you got not the better end from of that the same deal. well yeah not from the same source but no also not All from right. the same country for that matter well, there you go. All right, now fuck off. There you go. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing still listening to us? We're not even <laughs> funny. <Yeah. laughs> God. Oh, God, I'm just looking at the Manhunter 2 art channel art. It's Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> oh, yeah, in a, in a, in a druid costume. <laughs> that's I, great. I uh, photoshopped that shit. It was great. That's That's gorgeous. Big bam, shout outs to Bam Bam, bam Bigelow and uh, everyone from uh, Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, everyone from Cleveland. Uh, all right, everybody, catch you later. Catch you next week for uh, more Quest for Glory and catch you next year for uh, Island of Dr. Brain. Spooky horror man. Yeah, happy Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween. Happy weenie. Happy wings. There's a reason I don't think that took off. Happy weenie. Because, you know, uh, penises. <laughs> <laughs>